The idea of hunting produced many misconceptions about the human past. The understanding has developed that man is a powerful hunter and always has been superior to animals in the past. Thus, whenever they were found together, animal bones and artifacts were interpreted as if the man had used artifacts to hunt animals and that animal bones were remnants of human prey. Archaeological studies showed that in many cases this was not true. Here we see a reconstruction of a hunting scene in the past. The struggle between Paleolithic man and an extinct species of bear, the cave bear, is shown. From the beginning, Paleolithic research was mostly conducted in caves. Apart from flint artifacts and other traces of Paleolithic man in the cave deposits, animal bones were usually found, and among them, very often the most numerous were the bones of cave bears. By the fact that bear bones and artifacts were found together, it was considered that a man was hunting bears. Although this picture seems impressive and convincing, a scene like this was rather unlikely. The study of animal remains and the knowledge gained have completely reversed our view of the past. Namely, studies of cave bear remains showed that these remains belonged to adult individuals, but there were also many cubs, and the cubs were mostly from the same age groups, three to four months old, which correspond to their first winter, winter spent in a cave, and one year old and three to four months, corresponding to their second winter. Milk teeth were also found, which approved that cubs lived there. It turned out that the remains of cave bears are mostly the remains of individuals that died in caves during the period of hibernation, when the mortality of bears is the highest, because individuals who are not sufficiently fed and healthy do not survive. On the other hand, recent research will show that men probably influenced the extinction of bears, but not by hunting them extensively and killing them directly, except in rare isolated cases, but by competing with them for housing and by narrowing their living space more and more. A recent genetic study showed that the drastic cave bear population decline started around 40,000 years ago at the onset of the urination, thus coinciding with the spread of anatomically modern humans in Europe.